Man, dealing with the shenanigans on the homestead takes uh, some creativity. Luckily, I had some stock panels in my inventory to be able to take care of a situation. Stay tuned and I'm going to talk to you guys about these stock panels uh, and just how fantastic they are and widely uh, versatile they are. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. I'm going to talk to you about these having stock panels in your inventory on your farm as well. Uh, these stock panels, when you buy them, they come in a couple of different sizes. Some come hog panels, cattle panels, because there's varying different heights to them. Some are uh, three feet high and some are four feet high. These are a little bit over four feet high and they're 16 feet long. Yes, yeah, so that makes an excellent 16 by 16 uh, corral if you need to put one up in a hurry. Now, I cut this panel down because I used it building the quack shack pen over there. So this is a 10 foot long and uh, I coupled them together with these little snap rings, snap clips. I don't know what you call them. A lot of you do, uh, but I'm just gonna call them snap clips. Uh, anyway, I just used two of them on the corners. Uh, I got four corners and I don't even need a gate because you just unclip the top one and you spread the wire, climb inside, clip it back together. And then you can do your work inside the panel. I've got six of these available for me to use. Uh, I've used them, uh, when I originally purchased these stock panels, I purchased them for the duck and geese pens that I had over at Acorn Acres. And this is the layout of them. I just put two 16 inch panels end to end and then uh, I did the front and back that way and then I put uh, four, let's see, one, two, three, four, I put five uh, 16 foot long stock panels across the middle segregating it and I was able to make four uh, areas to keep my livestock segregated. And that's how I first came up with the idea. Now these stock panels, uh, the versatility of them is awesome because you can put them in different patterns. You can make, you can put uh, six of them in a big circle and make an octagon or a hexagon or however big you want to make your corral. But if you get big, it starts getting wobbly so you'll have to fortify it with a little bit of fence post. But with just four of them, you really don't need any fence posts. And it's great for a portable pan that you can put out in the middle of a pasture and keep an animal in there and you can move it from spot to spot so you don't need to fence in your whole area. You just have to keep your pan area spot to spot and just move it daily for your animal to be able to free graze and not worry about uh, roaming off. That way you can focus your grazing on set areas. Now the versatility of these things is I also put them in the garden and I use them as a trellis between two raised beds on which my peas and my cucumbers will be growing on. Yeah, I planted those in a previous video so you can check those out. Now another idea with those stock panels, you can also do a hoop cage. I plan on coming out here with a hoop cage to go totally enclosed and then wrap it in uh, that uh, plastic deer fencing because it's a, a fine mesh netting and that can go over the top and keep other critters out and keep babies from getting out. And I can actually keep my turkeys in there because the turkeys will fly away. At least this breed of turkey will fly away. So that's it, uh, talking about the stock panels on their flexibility. Uh, no pun intended, but you can put them in different formations and use them in different things because they are flexible and they're durable also. So share these videos on your social media platforms by clicking that share button. That really helps out our channel. Hey, if you haven't already done so, subscribe 
and click that bell icon which alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Hey, give me a thumbs up that likes the video and also please leave a comment if you want. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye. So there's a farming tip for you. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm talking about the dirt of the talking about the durability and the variability <laughs> so that's it uh, talking about the stock panels on their flexibility uh, no pun intended but you can put them in different formations and use them in different things because they are flexible and they're durable also uh, so uh, you can, uh, please 